Greek music. <laughs> We really recommend you to come here because it's beautiful. I just uh, spotted a couple of turtles, Careta Careta, just here next to the car park in the port, who is used to smuggle cigarettes between Turkey and Italy. We are Aldo, Vera and Toto. For over five years, we have been driving around the world with our self-converted tiny home on wheels. And we visited more than 50 countries on five continents with next destination, Africa. Through our videos, we show how beautiful, but at the same time, how fragile our planet is, hoping to raise awareness about environmental concerns and inspire people to take action. Subscribe to our channel and join our adventure. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. We are going to Monembasia. Oh. Monembasia, we don't know how it's correctly pronounced. We've got about uh, 35 kilometers to drive and uh, we decided to take this opportunity to tell you a few Greek words because we think that... Uh, basic Greek Basic, words. yeah, just for survival. And mm -hmm. uh, also to show some respect because we think it's important when you go visit uh, another country, new country, uh, other than just say how much and just go with English, try to uh, speak some of the words, they will appreciate it. And uh, so starting with how much, in Greek you say poso. Then there is uh, good morning. Kalimera. Good evening. Kalispera. Good night. Kalinikte. Kalinikta. 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 Kalinikte or Kalinikta, they will understand anyway. Cold water, if you want to ask for cold water, you say uh, Nero Clio, but if you also say Reno Clio, they would understand anyway. Very similar. Greek people are nice, <laughs> so you can even, you know, make this association. Uh, thank you, Efkaristo. Uh, you're welcome. Arakalo. So, it's for example, you enter into a shop and you want to ask for cold water, you say Calimera, uh, Nero Clio, Paracalo and they will understand. Uh, numbers, at least try to learn the numbers from one to 10, so you will be able to uh, say any numbers you need and also understand how much something costs. So, one to 10. Ena, dio, tria, tessera, penta, exi, efta, octo, enea, deca. So, few basic words that will help you in Greece and um, they also show respect towards the people here. I like Greek music. This <laughs> is Radio XKJ Planet. Radio Planet. Hey, Gabi, the mood. I like the coffee. I like the coffee. I like the coffee. English! Pizza! Questo è un capimento! Many people say that there is a Neapolitan in every part of the world and we just found someone from Napoli here in Monembasia. Basically it's a bit bad weather today so I was looking for a cafeteria where to uh, be able to plug our computer and uh, edit some videos. And as I was looking I found this restaurant Da Sabatino uh, and I read authentic Mediterranean Italian cuisine by Chef Napoletano Sabatino. So I had to introduce myself. He allowed us to stay so we could use the computer and they cook some really good food and we are now going to introduce him so uh, the language will be spoken will be Italian and Napolitan but uh, I will be put some subtitles ecco qua buongiorno ristorante italiano ma su tutto napoletano <laughs> venite venite ma faccio spaghetta da pomarola <laughs> guardate qua che belle pietanze tutto fresco 
e chef è veramente amore eccezionale. stiamo facendo un video vieni qua con questi prodotti vieni, eh, in napoletano come si dice vieni qua vieni qua o li saltiamo in padella o li facciamo con i linguini un piccolo po' di pomodorino un po' di aglio un po' di prezzemolo e basta saltati sono freschi parlano da loro non c'è problema quando li, li, prendi, li prendi in bocca li senti, se non sono i buoni non li paghi, voilà, non è difficile. <ride> sì ragazzi dovete sapere che eh, Sabatino si appoggia ai pescatori locali, quindi questi non sono prodotti che vengono pescati eh, dai, dai grossi pescherecci industriali importati, quindi eh, sono tutti prodotti che si vedono qui dal ristorante, quindi di fronte a noi il mare. E anche quindi... cosa è importante che è di stagione, esatto. pesce di stagione, prodotti di stagione, quindi le assaggerete in un modo naturale più buono, diciamo meglio prodotto in stagione e ora assaggeremo dei, dei per noi sì, eh, noi andiamo sul sì, vegetariano più vegetariano quindi colpetti vegetali colpetti vegetariani sì un bottini di un melanzane, di melanzane pomodori sì. dalla frutta quindi sì noi la scelta nostra come sapete è ecco, un po più orientata sul vegano vegetariano però il posticino qua è davvero molto carino, molto Una bello. vista spettacolare sulla roccia, quindi di Monembasia. Monembasia, sì, la vista è così, guarda, si vede tutto il tavolo seduto proprio sul mare. Noi ci beviamo sopra. This morning we are visiting Monembasia or Monembasia, we still don't know which one is the right way to pronounce it. And it's a little medieval town uh, formed during the Byzantine Empire and it's situated on a beautiful little island only... Yeah, only, that is connected yeah. with the little bridge with the causeway with the mainland. Let's go check it out. So what can I say guys, this place really exceeded our expectations. It's beautiful, the views are super incredible. Obviously as you enter this little town there are a lot of shops, restaurants, hotels, a lot of people going back and forward, but as you climb up where we are standing right now it's an archaeological site, so it's very peaceful and uh, you enter a completely different world from the Byzantine era. Behind me there is a beautiful church, we are surrounded by ruins. We really recommend you to see this place, it's really worth it. But our advice is to come early in the morning so you will avoid the crowd, you will enjoy this place for yourself and you won't suffer this heat. <laughs>
Yeah, look at these Byzantine people. Look at that. Yeah, it's a very good taste. Yeah, nice villa, two story, patio, sea views. Very well made also. Yeah. So. I would live here, would you? Of course. Very good. Uh, bravo, Byzantine. Bravo, bravo. Guys, it's incredible the number of people that come here each year. Can you hear this sound? The stones are slippery, so shiny, look like marble. It's incredible. People are hanging on the walls. It's very dangerous, I think, to come up here when it rains. Look at that. Wow, <laughs> No, giardino, guarda che fiorellini, tutto bello, bellissimo. Sì, facciamo il check-in amore. Sì, sì, il migliore albergo è la nostra casetta Totò. Bravissimo. Non c'è niente più bello. Guys, it's very beautiful up here and uh, for me it looks a bit like similar to Matera which I adore and uh, we really recommend you to come here because it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, yeah? Yes, it is. But you're Greek? Can I ask you something? Yeah. How do you say it? Monembasia or Monembasia? Monembasia. No, it's not Monembasia. A lot of people, they call it both ways. They call they it got Monembasia both ways. also. You know, it is, uh, the older people, they call it Monembasia. Then Monembasia, Mon 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 then Monembasia. You know, everybody, but uh, it's, it's the same. the same. So guys, we just sorted the mystery of Monembasia or Monembasia. That was the, the, the truth is that you can say it both ways. So guys, this is the bridge that takes you to Monembasia. It's uh, the only one entrance. That's where the name comes from. Mono Embasia means in Greek mono, only one, one. And Embasia means entrance. I just uh, spotted a couple of turtles, Caretta Caretta, just here next to the car park in the port. There we go, it's coming out. There we go, they're coming very close. Look how beautiful. No, 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 no! No! They're like you've seen, just in front of our eyes, she was biting a piece of plastic. You know, we talk about these, the turtles, the plastic, and it just, just happened in front of our own eyes. So She just got a piece of plastic. It's, uh, it's very sad. And yesterday it rained, this morning was all microplastic floating here in the port. It's a big problem. The plastic in the ocean is a big problem. Guys, stop using the plastic if it's not necessary. Stop using this uh, plastic bottles, straws. This is so, this is so terrible. So Just unnecessary. Think of the consequences, you know. where this will end up. In where here it's, we'll, uh, it's yeah. mental. We were just in uh, there on the Monembasi in the village. People are, yeah, yeah, just a small bottle of water, please, you know. So get, and, get your own And we are 8 bottle. billion of people. We it's, are 8 billion of people. And every day people say this. It's just a small bottle. It's just a straw. It's, 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 it's not okay, like okay. that.
guys we are next to an ancient uh, submerged city and uh, i just went for a swim and it's quite nice so i'm gonna take the gopro now and go back there again let's go check it out Somebody, somebody had fun, eh? <laughs> Mi l'hai visto con tartarughe? Sì, sì. Did you see me? Sì, sì, oh. I saw you with the turtles. <laughs> beautiful, eh? You didn't want to come out of the water. No, it was so beautiful. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, I, and uh, she was eating something from the rock. So I was looking at her and swimming with her. It was, it was beautiful. <laughs> Guys, it's really a bonus when we get to swim with the wild marine life because it's very rare to see them, especially next to the coast. So we are really, really happy. <laughs> Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful day. Look who's here! <laughs> Amore, buongiorno! Ti sei fatta la passeggiatina mattutina sulla spiaggia? Eh? Eh? Che schifo, eh? Sono le mie, sì, grazie. Eh? E guardate chi c'è qua? Eh, e là in fondo ci sono per il vetro, bidoni per il vetro, bidoni per l'umido, verdi, blu, celesti, giallo, c'è di tutto. Ma, ma la gente... Schifo, deve... Ma perché lasciare tutto là? Perché lasciare? Perché non lasciare anche godere anche altre persone che vengono a riposarsi, a rilassarsi? Perché lasciare tutta questa merda? So Vera just came back with the... A bit of trash, plastic, cups, straws, you know, despite being trash bins, you know, recycling for glass, for paper, for everything, just a few meters there. And there is a restaurant, so there is a toilet, but uh, there is another place I would like to show you because here, the people that come visiting, they cannot walk to the bar, to the restaurant and ask to the toilet, but they prefer to go here. This nice, beautiful, secluded, you know, part of the beach. So you enter from this side, there you go, and voila, it fills up your eyes. There is uh, all the excrements and peas, oh, because that's a very fresh one. Look at that, that's beautiful. And then we continue over here. 
Yeah? I love when I come to these play, places that they are boasting with natures and people take care so much of it. And you must know that here there is a, a beautiful shipwreck called Demetrius. So it's quite a nice area. But oh, look what I found. Look at that. Different colors. So it's just ridiculous. You got the facilities just over there. But you prefer to make this mess around and leave your trash on the beach. It's just disgusting. And uh, like I was saying before, it's, uh, there is a, a shipwreck here called Dimitrios. It's very beautiful. Well, it depends. Uh, so people come here regularly, as you can see, obviously. But uh, what can you do? We just uh, added another one, you know. It's very sad, it's such a shame. It's so easy to just be clean. You know, these are the basics. This is the A, B, C, you know. Put your trash in the bin. Shit in the toilet, you know. And if people cannot even do this, you know, I wonder what's gonna happen in the future, you know. If there will be a future. Okay guys, so this one behind me is Demetrius. It's a, a 67 meters cargo ship that has been dragged here on the beach and sitting there since uh, December 1981. There are many rumors about the story of the ship and how it ended up here. But the story that many relates to is that uh, this ship was used to smuggle cigarettes between Turkey and Italy. And then it was caught by the port authority in Greece, but then voluntarily released and uh, set on fire to destroy all the evidences and then obviously dragged on this beach here where it sits today. The place is very touristic, there is people all the time going back and forth. So we were here uh, very early this morning, trying to fly the drone where there was no wind and also not to disturb others. It's very beautiful here, it was definitely worth coming. Sad about what happened before about the rubbish, the trash and the, the shit, really. But uh, it's okay, I think we're gonna go for a swim and then we are continuing our trip. On a good note, we can see that there is a lot of turtles nests here, so there is a bit of caring and preservation for the species, and that's very important. the bronze helmet in the roundabout we just entered Sparta 